The hot topic these days, both online and offline, is social media. Social media allows you to interact with your audience in creative, engaging ways that not only deliver your message across several sites and media, but more importantly also make you more of a personal company. You create conversations and build relationships that will turn your audience into lasting, trusting, and consistently profitable customers. Social media is a collective term referring to any website or tool that allows you to creatively interact with your audience through a variety of media. Social networking is the practice by which you communicate with these various media sites and tools. There are several types of social media tools and websites, including social networks like Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, professional networks such as LinkedIn, social bookmarking sites like Dig and Delicious, video sharing sites like YouTube and Rever, podcast and audio content sites, podcast.com and iTunes are good examples of that social broadcasting networks like Blog Talk Radio and the blogosphere itself. Now, if you're using these sites as internet users or as a way of effectively marketing your company and offerings, you've got a head start. If you recall from the beginning of our training, we talked about the fact that millions of internet users participate in social media, over 80%, primarily watching videos and reading blogs. Social media promotion has numerous benefits. When your site is tagged, bookmarked, or mentioned on a social media site, or your content is promoted on a site, you receive extremely high-quality links to your website. It can be as simple as posting to a popular public forum in your industry, creating an entry related to your industry on Wikipedia, or uploading a video to YouTube. The key is to just make sure your targeted keywords, the ones you selected when researching keywords for your SEO efforts, are in the anchor text of any links you place on these sites or tagged to your content. Social media is also a fresh way to drive traffic to your site from a variety of sources. Why put all your eggs in one basket? And most importantly, you can access your audience from several channels in numerous media, increasing your exposure and depth of engagement. Social media can also equate to an endorsement or referral for your company. For example, if an article on your blog or website is highly bookmarked on top bookmarking sites, visitors see that as social proof that tons of other people agree that your site is highly valuable and targeted to their interest. The keyword of your bookmark page on the bookmarking site, that is. As you may know, referrals convert to sales up to 667% better than cold leads. An incredible side benefit of good social media promotion is you quickly and easily get first page rankings in Google and other search engines for your targeted keywords in as little as 24 hours. We've even seen rankings appear within a couple of hours. We'll talk about exactly how to do that shortly. Social media promotion also gives your company a human face and a personality. You're able to connect personally with your audience, and your customers will value that as priceless. At a minimum, you should have a company blog or allow one or more of your employees to keep a professional blog. We'll discuss how to set up your blog and organize its content in a bit. You also reinforce your branding and image when you promote your company appropriately. Remember how we told you at the start of this that we'd show you how to create a suite of websites that, along with your primary website, would give you a cohesive presence? We'll get into how to create social profiles, blogs, and other secondary sites that all maintain a cohesive message, brand identity, and most importantly, your primary and secondary calls to action. The bottom line, social media promotion can be very low cost with incredibly high returns. The only downside is it can be very time intensive. But we'll talk about ways to save time and focus your efforts to achieve the highest returns as well. I'm confident that with the statistics we've shared with you, you realize the value of promoting your company with social media. However, in case you have any reservations or doubts, let's cover the typical objections we hear when companies consider marketing themselves through social media. The first one, my audience doesn't use this stuff. Well, we hear that especially from business-to-business -business companies. If your target audience is made up of company executives, why would you use social media? Well, the reality is that social media is your strongest asset when communicating with company executives. It just depends on which media you use and how you use it. For example, 
you're able to differentiate from your competition. Let's say you offer e-learning software to Fortune 1000 companies. Every single vendor in your industry provides white papers and case studies as marketing materials. These are useful in the sales process, but imagine how fascinating your case study would be if it were a video or even an audio interview with your client. And what about the industry websites that lead your industry, like news sites, associations, and professional research or educational sites? For example, in the marketing industry, we have ClickZ.com, which publishes daily articles and columns on a variety of corporate marketing and advertising topics targeted to company executives. If you're a marketing consultant to large companies, you would want to consider applying to ClickZ to submit a single article or even apply for a weekly column. This gives you authority in your industry and enormous social traffic and powerful links. The next frequent fear companies express is that social media and networking leaves them vulnerable to a diluted brand and message, not to mention potential attacks or negative response. This is particularly a fear of large businesses that allow employees to blog on a personal or professional basis. If they talk about their daily lives at your workplace, what are they revealing about your office politics and employee disputes and other potentially negative press bait? Luckily, you don't have to be the first to venture into the unknown and see if these nightmares are likely. Industry moguls like Microsoft allowed their executives and employees to keep blogs, both associated with the company and on a personal level. What did they find? Before they let their employees blog, Microsoft had a reputation synonymous with the dark side and was largely ridiculed and bashed by programmers and independent technology professionals. But they found that when their employees began blogging, that tide shifted. People got to see the human side of the megalith, resulting in a radical decrease of Microsoft bashing. So for the most part, being human and imperfect is much better than impersonal and aloof. Let your customers and audience see the person or people behind your company. But bear in mind that you can't get too personal or transparent. How many of you feel a bit overwhelmed? Well, that's normal and somewhat unavoidable because this is a crash course on the Internet and Internet marketing. But rest assured, we've provided you with some basic guidelines and tasks to follow that will help you streamline your efforts so you immediately benefit from social media without getting lost in the melee. Lastly, if you're not into messing with blogs and social networks and video and other media, that's fine. But don't let that be an excuse for not pursuing these channels for your company. With the massive growth and market penetration of social media, you're not only leaving money on the table, but you're also leaving yourself vulnerable if you aren't present in at least a few sectors. Once your competitors catch on and grab large chunks of the social media market, it'll be an uphill battle trying to grab back an audience that's already been claimed. Don't forget, social media allows us to build powerful, personal relationships with our audience. Once your competitor sinks their teeth into a customer, it'll be very hard to whisk that customer away. Now, here's a favorite topic of ours. Why go after tons of social media sites and content outlets when we can just focus our efforts solely on ranking really well in Google? It is the global leader in online visibility and traffic, right? And not so much anymore. Let's start with Facebook. Just a few years ago, it was a little college network that barely made a blip on the global market. Now, it gets more traffic than Google. In fact, Facebook has become a huge market. They have over 750 million active users. That's active, not just registered. And 50% of those users log on to the site every single day. If your business doesn't have a presence on Facebook, you're missing out on a huge opportunity to connect with your customers, both the existing and potential customers. How about Twitter? Twitter is another popular social network with over 200 million registered users. There are approximately 1 billion tweets posted per week. Tweets are what Twitter users call the messages they post to the site. In February 2011 alone, there were 460,000 new accounts being registered per day on average. Look at the overwhelming power of video here. While YouTube doesn't receive as many page views as Google, it's pretty close. Now, let me really drive this point home. If you accurately promote a video on YouTube and get great listings for it in YouTube's keyword search for your chosen terms, several things happen. 
Your top listing will receive almost as many views as a top listing in Google does. And if you have a top listing in YouTube, and even if you don't, you can usually win a page one listing in Google itself due to your video promotion. That means video promotion can win you much more visibility and market penetration than you would get solely concentrating on ranking in Google. Now let's talk about creating your social media campaign. We're going to cover some specific steps to create a social media campaign that will include video promotion, blogging and tagging, and a suite of social profiles. We'll spend limited time on each step here, but these steps are fully explained in the workbook, along with resources to free tools and training to help you further in your social media research and promotion. It'll take time, patience, and effort to drive massive traffic to your website from YouTube. However, our purpose here is to get you moving in the right direction and get you the best results with minimal effort. So, here's a quick and easy way to promote your video content on YouTube, which should get you some immediate first page rankings on the search engines, provided that you're not trying to rank for excessively competitive terms with millions of competing websites. Step one, create your video. First of all, video content is the most powerful medium for your message nowadays. It's dynamic, it holds longer attention spans, it shouldn't take the place of your written content, but it's an excellent addition that should be on both your website and on YouTube. The types of videos you can create, how about a video case study with a client? You can conduct an interview with a client, ask for statistics, findings, results, and the overall story. Now to really knock this video out of the park, use Camtasia available at Camtasia.com to add screenshots and live video feed of your desktop activity so you can take the viewer through a live demo or a website. How about a video teaching how to do something? If you sell calendars, for example, what could you possibly teach in a how-to video? Well, perhaps you could do a video on better time management and organization, how to balance life and work, how to add inspiration to your work and living environment with inspirational calendars. The possibilities are endless. A good rule of thumb is that everything you can write about, you can make into an interesting video. The same rules apply. Keep it short and sweet, actionable and informative, and be interesting, funny, or engaging. A video showing people interacting with your product in a how-to format, not a sales pitch. This may not be as effective as other types of videos, but let's say you offer a service or product that is complicated or you're involved in a complicated industry. For example, let's say you're me. I offer internet marketing services and training, right? So I could create a video showing exactly how to use a particular tool to get a specific result online or a step-by-step -step on how to do some of the things that you're seeing here today. If I had tools or software I had created, I would show how they're used. But I wouldn't push my own product. I would name other possible tools the viewer could use, but since I'm partial to my own tool, I'm going to use it as my example. Now that builds trust because they see you're giving valuable information without beating them over the head with a sales pitch. An interview with a leader or a famous person in your industry. You'd be surprised how easy it is to get interviews with very influential people, including celebrities and famous leaders. Just reach out to 10 people you'd like to interview with a brief one-page proposal about what you'd like to interview them on and how the interview will be used. And I'm pretty confident at least one or two, if not several, will be willing to be interviewed. Controversial, funny, and inspirational content. This is the category of video that can get you massive traffic, but it's harder for companies to pull off. You can play it safe with inspirational content, but if you can create a solid video that's really funny or controversial without sacrificing your professional image, you can rake in the views and traffic. Now, if you're not funny, or you don't feel you could pull off such a video, and particularly if you don't want your company participating in controversial topics or conversation, a great solution is to hold a contest or encourage your customers to submit videos. An incredible example of this is Wiley Book's promotion of the book Brewing Up a Business. They held a contest on YouTube inviting people to read the book and then submit a short video showing how they implemented the business advice and approach explained in the book and what the results were. The book was fun and funky, and they kept that vibe in their contest and the materials promoting the contest. The result? Over 60 videos from 60 different video makers, 
all discussing and promoting Wiley's book in a creative and engaging way. Now, think about innovative ways you can get your audience involved in discussing and promoting your company and its offerings. Another great tactic for creating popular viral videos, monitor trends in your industry and hit hot topics as soon as they pop up. If a hot new iPhone is coming out and you sell phone accessories compatible with an iPhone, hop on that popularity bandwagon. Do a video about iPhone innovations. You don't even have to mention your site except to introduce yourself and the company you're with. Now, regardless of the type of video you create, you can brand your company without ever pitching it in your videos. Options include adding the URL to your company website at the bottom of each video, or branding your YouTube channel with your company's URL, brand identity, and calls to action to your site. The next step is to tag your video. It's relatively simple. Identify the keywords you want your video to show up for. This should include relevant keywords from your SEO research that are well searched on Google or YouTube and have a good ratio against the number of websites competing for them. You also want to include any relevant people, products, or companies that you mention in your video. This can be effective for a couple of reasons. First, let's say that your target audience searches the name of a particular leader in your industry. Mention that leader in one or more of your videos in a meaningful, informative, or interesting way and tag the video with their name. It's sure to get viewed by a chunk of your target audience looking for info about or by that person or company. An added benefit is that most savvy companies and industry celebrities have set up Google Alerts to notify them whenever Google indexes a news or media item that mentions their name or any other keyword they want to track. So. If you want to get into the good favor of a potential partner or mentor, or if you want to just get on someone's radar, discuss them favorably. Well, or not, if that's your intention. Do it in one or more videos. And speaking of Google Alerts, a great way to obtain the pulse of your market and your company's reputation is to set up your own Google Alerts. Go to google.com slash alerts. If you don't already have a Google if you don't already have a Google account, you can create one for free. Make sure you're signed in and fill out one or more search terms you want to track. Track your company name, the names of visible executives in your company, company products or trademarks, anything else you can think of. You can also track industry news by including some main industry keywords. Now, once you submit your alert, you'll receive email alerts every time Google indexes news or media for the keywords you specify. Now, once you know what keywords you want to tag your video with, create a free account at YouTube and then upload your video. You'll be able to tag it and you can update those tags later. You can embed your video in other sites like your blog or main website using the YouTube code provided. Now, that was pretty simple, but once the video is uploaded, most companies stop there. Don't make that mistake. To really give your video some viral legs, you want to take the next two steps. First, Consider networking and collaborating with popular YouTubers in your industry or in related industries. Just keep it focused on your audience. If you sell ringtones for cell phones, then it might be worth collaborating with a popular YouTuber who does great videos about iPhones, especially when a new model or innovative upgrade is about to be released. It's a great way to quickly win lots of new subscribers. If you collaborate with someone who has hundreds of subscribers and they promote the video on their channel and you promote it on yours, you're bound to pick up quite a few new subscribers as long as the content is solid. Now, here's how you can really knock your own socks off, and it's so easy. First, make sure you embed one or more of your videos on your primary website. Your visitors will consume video content much better than written content, and it will help you differentiate your company from your competition. Great videos to have on your main website include case studies, how-to videos, and interviews. Next, consider video blogging, or at least creating a post on your blog for each new video you do. This allows you to further promote your video through bookmarking networks like Dig and Delicious. You can also post links to these pages to Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and any other social networks that your business is active on. A great promotion method that gets first page rankings on Google within 24 hours for moderately competitive to mildly competitive terms? Blast your video out to dozens of video sites simultaneously. 
You can quickly and easily do this with a free video promotion tool like TubeMogul. You can select more robust paid options, but the basic video blasting software is free and allows you to promote your video across all the major video networks. Bookmark it on the major social bookmarking sites. Track videos by producer. This is great for competitive intelligence, and it easily tracks which websites are linking to your video. If your video is tagged with the right keywords, you can see rankings within hours or days. Now another great promotion method, offer your videos as content to partners and other industry colleagues so they can use them or publish them. For example, if you do a video case study, offer it to an industry association, web journal, research or media firm, or things like that. Also consider any content partners you provide articles to, uh, according to our earlier discussion on article marketing. You can use those same principles to offer video content. Okay, let's make sure we're all on the same page when it comes to blogging. Let me run through the basics of setting up a blog for those of you that don't currently have one. The two most popular free blog publishing tools are WordPress and Blogger. We personally prefer WordPress because it's incredibly robust and easy to use. However, without a webmaster or basic knowledge of blogging software, WordPress can be difficult to use. So if you aren't ready to work with a webmaster or WordPress expert, go ahead and set up a blog with blogger.com. You can transfer the entire blog and all of its posts and comments to WordPress later if you'd like. Both websites include easy to follow instructions. WordPress also includes a hosted solution at wordpress.com, which is similar to Blogger and very easy to use. However, you lose some of the rich functionality that is only offered by WordPress.org, which you install on your own website server. We'll talk more about that later. The difference between hosted and installed is simply that a hosted blog is kept at the WordPress.com or Blogger.com domain. If you decide to go with one of these two options, your domain will look like this, yourblog.blogspot.com or yourblog.wordpress.com. An installed solution, on the other hand, is one that you have your own website address with. It'll look like yourblog.com. Hosted solutions are simpler to use, but with fewer features and less functionality. Installed solutions, highly configurable, customizable, and they give you more freedom. But with that comes more complexity, of course. Choose the best solution for you and your company, but again, we recommend WordPress.org, the installed solution, as it allows you to add some nifty widgets that are really going to help promote your blog. After you've set your blog up, the next step is to create a publishing schedule. This doesn't have to be formal or written, but it is important to update your blog regularly. Consider your audience and how often they would like to see content. A customer audience typically prefers frequently updated content every day or every couple of days. A business audience would likely be fine with weekly updates or bi-weekly updates. Your frequency doesn't matter. What does matter is your commitment. You have to be consistent in your publishing schedule, both for search rankings and for your audience. We subconsciously like to be able to depend on people and we value routine, again, at least at a subconscious level. Next, you want to configure your blog with certain social media widgets to increase your blog's visibility, traffic, and your blog's rank with the search engines. In your materials, you have a list of these widgets and links to their location at WordPress.org and in other sites. Now, feel free to write the content yourself, but if you're trying to concentrate on growing your business, you may not want to spend too much time writing content. You can easily outsource your blog posting to blog posting companies, professional ghost writers, or internet marketing freelancers who specialize in blogging and social media. Personally, I would recommend the latter, a professional that can not only write your content, but optimize it for the search engines and manage your entire blog's promotion. We'll talk more about that later on. Do video blogs and podcasts as much as possible. I recommend having each major blog post in two or three formats, written, audio, and video. This way, your audience can read and use your content on their own terms and in the medium they're most comfortable with. You're also likely to exponentially increase your ability to rank in the search engines and social networks because you can tag your post, your video, and your podcast and distribute your video and audio content to dozens of video and podcast networks. 
These all equate to wider visibility and quality incoming links. Lastly, be sure to tag all your content, your written posts, your videos, and your audio as well. There are countless social networks you can participate in and create social profiles. We're going to cover four primary sites that you should definitely include in your suite of secondary websites. Feel free to add additional ones using the social media resources and training that will be sent to you in your post-training materials. If you only have time for one social media profile, Facebook is it. That's the place to be. We've already discussed the number of people you can reach through Facebook. Most of your customers are using it. Some of them probably heavy users. In fact, I'm willing to bet you use it. You can create a Facebook page for your business. That's where your customers can connect with you to get updates about new products, special offers, and more. Plus, they can contact you through that page, so you can stay even more connected with them than you can by email and telephone. Let's say you own a restaurant. You could create a Facebook page where your clientele can connect with you to receive special promotions and other information. If you know business slows down during a certain week of the month, you could create a special promotion like a free appetizer or a drink to anyone that brings in a coupon. You could actually distribute that coupon through Facebook, so there would be zero advertising cost to get it in your customers' hands, and you could easily generate much more walk-in traffic than you would normally see. LinkedIn is a professional network that allows you to establish affiliations with other people and companies. You can identify whether a colleague is an employee, boss, client, vendor, or fellow associate. Now, this is great for building professional reputation and your authority in your industry, as many people are now using LinkedIn to evaluate you and your company, particularly if they've never heard of you before. Twitter is a slightly different type of site. It's used to post tweets, which are short messages of up to 140 characters. There's not a lot that you can say in that short of a post, but you could use it to link to special offers on your website or Facebook to let your customers know about a new product line you've started carrying or any of several various other things. And your customers can send you messages through Twitter as well. So it's a good way to engage your customers and answer their questions in a way that's often less intimidating for them compared to calling you or even sending you an email. Lastly, a recent network has taken the Internet by storm and ranks extremely well in the search engines. It's called Squidoo. It allows you to create a page called a lens on any topic imaginable and establish yourself as an expert on that topic. Businesses have found this incredibly effective for building authority and reinforcing brand and thought leadership. It was created by Seth Godin, a highly respected Internet marketer. Squidoo lenses enjoy great rankings in Google. Review sites like Yelp.com and Where.com are another form of social networking site that you need to be aware of. These sites let your customers rate and review your business. Now, these reviews can be good or bad, so it's important that you keep an eye on them and respond if you ever see low ratings or bad reviews. Let's face it, every business has the occasional problem, but it's all about how you deal with it. If potential customers are checking your reviews on these sites before doing business with you, they're going to be a lot more comfortable doing so if they see you responding to bad reviews and trying to fix the situation. One of the reasons these sites have become so important is because many of them offer apps for devices like the iPhone and BlackBerry. This makes it very easy for people to research your company before they decide whether or not to do business with you. If they look you up and see bad reviews, you could lose a potential customer without ever having a chance to talk to them. These sites aren't only about reviews, though. Many of them let you make special offers to your customers in the way of discounts, giveaways, and more. These special offers can be another great way to draw in both new and existing consumers through their smartphones and other mobile devices. If they're searching for a local business using one of these services, seeing an offer from your company will make them a lot more likely to visit. And if it's combined with good reviews and interaction on your part, it's really going to cement their decision. Now to recap. We've gone through how to create and promote a video, start a blog, optimize it, and tag and promote each post. We also discussed the importance of creating several secondary websites using social network profiles. There is more specific training available for you in your workbook. Coming up next, we move on to conversion analysis.